Hey curious people, another week and uh, yeah I forgot I left it in this mess so <laughs> it looks like I've got a bit of tidy up to do so I'm going to have to sort this mess out I've brought a new bin up here for my motors uh, and I've got some plastic junk to get rid of there so I'm going to have to do a bit of a tidy up and come back to you Just trying to uh, sweep up and sort out the go through the bits on my shed floor those are little springs that obviously disappear off but I actually really like springs I keep springs in there's my second jar spring jar could be either brass or something else of interest to me. Oh, that's one that flew off. It's that little motor result. Got that back. Oh yeah, the clips. Right. Uh, now that's non-magnetic metal. I say that because I don't actually know what it is. I just put it aside. Okay, so obviously those are magnetic stuff ready for shred. So I'll put that all in the shred bag instead of uh, in the rubbish. I might as well get the weight for me. And then I can look in a bit more detail, see if there's any goodies left. No, I think I've got all the bits of copper that were there and brass. All right, well, that's the shed floor. Okay, I'm doing good on the uh, clearing up front. Into my shred bowl, you know, like all the little bits you get in your processing stuff. Fills up super quickly. Come on. Right. Oh, that shouldn't be there. Okay. So, uh, doing a pretty good job of neatening things up a little in here. These are just my mini motors. Just get some out of the way over there, kind of thing. Okay, okay. Right. Been up here ages. I've done no scrapping because I've had to. <laughs> I was in such a mess. But I feel like this is a bit better. The floors are ish clean, and um, so that's rubbish. So. Uh, well, I say ish clean. <laughs> it's standing on um, screws and stuff. It's really annoying. That's the uh, downside to going hammer time crazy inside your own shed. Is that you get a big mess. Anywho, so today. Um, I think I might start with the the little one I could see, um, a little EE box, you can see through the mesh here, so, oh there, Torx, where's the spine, oh here it is, number 10, so yeah I'm trying really hard to sort my shit out um, because obviously I had a load of printers in that pallet they take up loads of space but then the mess I made sorting them out <laughs> so um, yeah I, I, I need to get a bit sorted I hate the mess I don't mind having loads of stuff as long as it's organized um, so yeah just gonna sort that out a bit and yeah, that's 
What else? One of those. Let's see. Oh. Might as well put that mesh in with shred. It's actually got a metal bottom. That's cool. Bit of added value. Obviously, it's just shred. Might have to start a new shred sack actually. I will after these because I don't think I'll be able to lift it otherwise. I oh, know, I'm gonna might as well just get it out of there as well. And right into plastics, and then we've got ourselves a nice little board. So you've got a wireless card here with the oh, let's see camera angle here we go yeah so you've got some gold connectors here as usual loads of crystals it's pretty nice um some bgas let's see what's under this one while we're here it's got some just, just get the plugs off i've got so much depopulating to do that that's my next I want to sort out all the stuff I've got in this palette. Oh, hello. Nice little ceramic chip there. Nice, only small, but nice. We've actually got some gold edging here. It's unusual. That, that was... It's like maybe this it's for an opportunity for another connection somehow. Interesting. Um, and then you've just got your usual bits and bobs, some ICs, small MLCCs. Uh, I thought, but it's not. No. Well, there might be a gold band crystal oscillator under this little shield, possibly. Let's put my gloves back on. Um, I'm surprised there isn't one on here. Um, but, you know, there may not be. I can just... Yeah, there is, but it's tiny. There it is. See it there? Tiny gold band crystal oscillator there. I was going to say, on these wireless ones... Oh, I missed one. There is one. There's one over here as well. So there is one just there. You do usually get them. Um, I don't come across many wireless routers where you wouldn't get one of those. Okay, so that's just that little EE and obviously a nice little bit of aluminium heat sink. Um, This one is Betty Satellite. So this is uh, a foreign one. Not sure what the language is of this, um, but it is a Huawei. Don't know what it's supposed to do. If it's supposed to allow you in or or not. Oh, one bit of exciting news. I did. Um, I have treated myself to a an impact driver. Because I'm so fed up with this happening, me having to. Sometimes I just can't do that quarter turn, and then I have to do it a little bit by hand, and then uh, and then get the mechanical screw screwdriver on it. And it's good because it'll have the power. It'll have the power for me to get the socket. Um, instead of using my sockets there, I can get all the bolts and stuff off with it, which would be nice. You can hear the wind, it's so windy. We've still got snow. Not quite got that one. 
So, yeah, I've actually no idea what to expect from this one. Let's just try because that doesn't want to open. Butterfingers. That's oh, brassy. Oh, I must find my files that I bought. Wow, this is really weird. Goodness me. Never had to smash my way into a typical Huawei. Now that was way harder than it needed to be. Give me a minute. Let's get this little USB. Plastic junk. Okay. So drive the memory card I guess uh, not the card you know the viewing card have a little look gosh I don't need this up here anymore it's getting warm which is amazing it's freezing outside at minus four So you've got some gold pins in the back here. So that's a keeper. And then there's nothing there. That's just the opening. It's all just plastic junk. Okay. So. Got your little board. Really big one. So, some ribbons, the switches here, a couple of LEDs, well, more than two LEDs actually, um, some capacitors, um, and then just an IC and a couple of little bits and bobs. Now, let's just get this front panel off because it'll be a lot nicer to look at without it. Now that is actually metal. Uh, hmm. No, still. Well, second it could be aluminium then. But. All right, so. Problem isn't obvious. Okay, so you've got some copper here. You've got a shielding here, I look under there. And obviously this is a fairly big heat sink for such a small board. Uh, the ratio there is actually pretty pretty big. Let's have a look under there. Probably a, oh there's a probably a um, gold corner BGA. Oh no, that's a pretty big chip. Still haven't found where I've buried my tissue. There's a bit. Another nice ceramic chip under here. Beautiful chip actually. Look at that. 
Now that is nothing to be sniffed at. I'm just going to move it above so I can see, try and read it. Uh, and I can't read it because it's tiny. Broadcom, it's a Broadcom chip. Nice. So that's a lovely big chip on there. Um, crystal. Uh, you have got MLCCs on here. Down in here. Find the capacitors here. Right, let's have a little, see if we can just lift up the shielding here. Have a look at what we've got under here. There we go. Some Samsung chips. Nice. Two little Samsung chips. Um, depending on what you're taking apart, sometimes you can look up the numbers, part numbers. Uh, and see if you've got any value in the, in the chips themselves. But the only trouble is, is that none of this stuff has been handled with anti-static. Uh, it's a real grey area, scrappers that we watch, saying, oh, you could get some sort of that. Yeah, but it hasn't in any way been handled uh, with the means of it being resold as a workable part. So it's a whole world of hurt trying to... Um, establish if it's working and you know making sure that it's not been ruined with the handling so you know unless you've got something really special it's just not worth it it's not for me anyway um but anyway some people obviously uh, with a bit more care and due diligence can resell chips if they ha you know doing it all with the anti-static and what have you Anyway, so that's that one. Let's see what's under this one. Sometimes it pops easily if I don't get the other bit. Uh, another two Samsung chips. So four Samsung chips on this Huawei board. And then, so that these are steel, they're not brass ones. That's brass on this one, which is nice. Yep. That could possibly be aluminium. I'd have to follow that one, actually. But we'll see. But non-magnetic, non never, the, nevertheless. And then, of course, you've got some gold recovery in the actual ports here. So that's that one. Not bad. And I take all the brass out of the plugs as well. And a big heat sink for the size of the board. Okay. So, put these bits straight into shred. The other thing that I want to do while I'm in the board mood is just do this little Cisco, tiny little Cisco. Cisco Systems, Ethernet LAN, L-A-N, Cisco 800 series. Small, but I bet you it's lovely. Let's have a look then. Remember, Cisco is designed to be worked on. that a little bit of shielding there that looks like the good stuff no wrong solders always easy to get into as I say designed to be worked on stuff that's designed to be worked on it's a dream for us you know, the whole repair instead of replace. So this is only a small one. Oh, look, you've got another. So that was totally encased in shielding because it's all the way around the bottom as well. So I'll get that off also. same stuff a 
very shiny. Goodness me. Okay. So, lovely board. So we've got a gold corner BGA. That's what I like to see. Uh, crystal. Now. Yeah. Actual Cisco chips, which is nice. It's a beefy one. And a ran. Beefy, beefy one. Very nice. So we've got ICs and a BGA. Um, we've got gold edged fuse here. If you can see that there. And then look at these capacitors. Look into those into more detail. They look, they look very nice. But I don't know what they are. Quite a few of them here. If anyone wants to tell me what they are. These silver coloured, lovely looking capacitors. Look at these MLCCs, my goodness. They are chunky beyond belief. Very nice. And obviously small ones. Now I wonder if these are some form of multi-layer. Well, I've just never seen them with this silver finish before. I mean they're really chunky. Very nice. Uh, obviously some more ICs down here. Quite a big gold band crystal oscillator here. And here you've got like a Cisco hologram. But there's nothing actually in the space here it's interesting um got some gold pins here very very thin and a transformer module so that'll have a copper spool in it i do rather like those pretty easy to get off as well to be honest and see there's your spool more here gold pins obviously again in the rj45s okay and then it there's no unfortunately no ram in here shame um but there is obviously in the ram um what's called it housing can't remember the name there's the gold uh in there that connects it but it's it's minuscule and then what looks like brass brass housing around them okay so that's a Cisco it hasn't it's not blown me away to be honest but it's uh, got some nice bits on it nonetheless okay so I think I might do a bit of a random one now and uh, do this karaoke machine. This thread. It's a bit of a beef, so it would be good to get it out of the way. Everything is going to cascade. Oh, okay. So. What have we got here? We've got karaoke system. Let's take my glasses off. It's CD TV karaoke graphics system. There might be some interesting bits in here. Uh, There's nothing to write home about, but it's a Goodman's. It's an okay brand ish. Super Bass Boost. All right, so. It is heavy. Let's just go around undoing all the screws and then I'll come back to you. Thank you, Luke. So, getting all the panels off here. Screw 
screws won't fully come out for some reason. Uh, I'm going to bust my backside over it. I'll just give that a little snip there. Whoop. So the box is being revealed. Sort of. Okie doke. Put a transformer in there. It's pretty dark. I'm just going to try and get the. I might do snip some of the bits I can uh, free off here. Wow, it's a really coloured coloured cable in here. There we go. That's that bit. Let's just move these from earlier. Literally cannot fit any more boards. They're everywhere. <sighs> and they're muddled up. We've got telecoms in with power boards and oh dear. Right. Uh, see that all looks like it might come away if I just give it a bit of encouragement sort of in two halves here. Now there will be a bit attached to the board but it doesn't matter if I smash it off unless I can see the screw. Oh I can actually see the screws. Eek. Can I get in there? It's a bit dark in here isn't it? Got this wooden box. Can't get it all the way off. But what I can do is just free up everything I can and then give it a bit of a whack, <laughs> basically. Few fuses. Use my tin snips for these, really. All right. Okay, we'll do it this way. Easy, wasn't it? Right, there's that bit. Speakers and the transformer. Now, quite a heavy transformer for a small size, actually. I can't really be bothered. A bit more accessible. <sighs> I've just tidied my shed as well. Chipboard. I'm not going to waste my time faffing about with screws too much when I can just, you know, kick it in Ooh, and give me some satisfaction. Right. I 
now I might use my tin snips. Obviously, we've got a nice heavy transformer here, but I don't know. Now, the uh, screws to that are under there. Take the speaker front off. I might just smash out that transformer. I've not got much room, that's trouble. to get to the transformer. Doesn't look like real brass. Just looks like orange. No. Actually, I'm going to put that in my creations tub. It's still quite a nice colour. That's the other thing I want to do in the next week or two. I really want to make some more bits and pieces um, I've got a few people that want me to make them some bits and then I've also got some bits that I want to do for myself so come on that one's just spinning hand again which is annoying it's another reason I've gone for the uh, bought myself and bought myself an impact driver it's a Makita one it's not the DeWalt one the Makita one was actually recommended to me the DeWalt one was way more expensive um, so um, but the Makita one's got five star reviews so I thought well I will go for that and it was recommended to me as well so win win really Right, and then the speakers, I always do the speakers as well. A big collection of speaker uh, magnets. Oh, of course, of course. Of course there's gonna be one that won't undo. Okay, right. Got your speakers, the big magnet. Nice. Right, the transformer. to get me to go through my hand, aren't you? Not today. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. I'll just bend away the outside casing. And we've got this. Magnesium, aluminium, damn it. All right, let's check the top layer on this side at least. Let's see. Oops. 
looks like it. Yeah, okay, so one half of it is copper, the thinner half, which just can be the case, which is why I always check both sides. Don't ever give up just looking at one bit. You might be lucky at least half of it is. So half of that one is copper. Okay, now for the actual main bits of the thing. So, broken this board hammering off the thingy so just like in all high fives nice big heat sink there nice big extruded aluminium heat sink nothing to be sniffed at and now all of the other bits and pieces I might take my hat off I'm getting a bit warm take my gloves off as well suddenly warm I might just um turn off just one of these right Let's just tin snip this cable out of here, out of the way. buttons uh, this might be the only two four screws on here to the side to the other oh oh no <laughs> Uh oh! My nail varnish came off. Oh dear! Dun dun dun! That's bad time, doesn't it? Let's put my glove back on. I don't want to break that nail. Well, at least it proves my nails are real. I've had some comments of, they're not real nails. Well, they are. They've just got gel on them. And you know I like to have neat nails. But um, it's time consuming to do, so I'll leave them as long as possible. But I'm going to have to do them now. Who's live streams tonight? Dusty's live streams tonight. I'll do them during that. At the time of me filming this, obviously, as I said before. Okay, so can I lift these up? Uh, right. I'm going to put this glove back on as well. 
Ooh, what's the... What have I got in there? How did that get inside my finger? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, so then that's just, yeah, just still tiny bits of steel. That's just mainly plastic junk. Oh, I should have separated that actually. I'll show that after. Okay, so now let's go through it all. Um, really low grade board, a little bit of aluminium heatsink there. Capacitors, fuse. Where's the fuse? Where did I put my fuse? I had it. Uh... Hmm. Oh, I don't know what I did with my fuse box. I took it indoors. I was trying to find a fuse that I could nick. I did bring it back. Oh well. Um, so yeah, that's it. A bit junky, really. Scott, it's obviously to connect to your TV. Might be a little bit, tiny bit of gold in there. Pretty beefy IC. Bit of wire. Um, switches, so you might have some gold, oh, sorry, silver contacts in there, in those. And some rainbow wire. Quite a bit of rainbow wire. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Another low grade bit of board, um, but we have got some, uh, so there's an IC, those are little capacitors, some, uh, quite a few resistors, apparently resistors, some of them have a silver bonding wire, so that's why some people keep resistors. Another switch in there that might be um no it's still okay so that's that one the tape deck and you've got all these mechanisms in here pretty cool and it would seem all intact as well That's not a bad little tape deck. Belts all seem in good shape. None of them are sagging. Hmm. Might be able to resell that. Um, tapes are becoming popular again and people are needing parts for repairing. We'll see. So that's just off of the, that's the steel off of the um, transformer. This has got so little on it, I thought I might as well just um, quickly depopulate it now. Just with my snips. Um, and then, uh, so, that's I see, a bit of a mess. I keep virtually everything um, because I make things, as you know, out of my e-waste. But also, you just get fed up when you suddenly discover that something did actually have a value to it. Um, so, you know, that was annoying. Um, I want these because they're brass at the bottom. These are the housing that ho hold the fuses. So they're brass. Um, there's loads of different ways of depopulating. Um, power boards, it's easy just to do with your cutters, to be honest. Um, but when you've got your nice chips, 
there's different ways some people use the splice off method you know hitting it hitting a, a thin sharp object against it um, obviously a hammer heat gun so I thought I would just get this one out of the way and the goodies do add up you know um, the little capacitors I use with my resin that one's gross I probably won't use that one um, and the big ones I am actually going to strip for the aluminium now thanks to um, Ian and Johnny Swedish scrapper um, because they show me how easy it is and actually the amount of capacitors I come across quickly that will add up so the only thing left on this now these tiny little resistors I'm not going to do anything with those they're, they're too small for me uh, and then so a totally empty board like that I'll just stick into shred um, my big I need another jar balance those up there um, teeny ones go in here easy peasy MOSFET and another MOSFET that's an IC there's my IC's up there oh, I haven't done any depopulation for ages and ages and ages and ages and there um, the ceramics so and then we just put these MOSFETs away before I lose them everything's all over the place in here but you can see all different shapes and sizes well not shapes but sizes and then the white brass from the um, fuse fuses there yeah. And then now might start so I've got jars for the blue M&Ms might start another have oh, I got any empty jars oh, yes yeah, I've got one I'm just going to mix these for now in fact I might just put those in there as well let's so just have this miscellaneous for now Okay, good. Brilliant. And then that's one out of the way. Doesn't seem like much, but it's nice to have a few bits out of the way. <laughs> okay, so the rest of these I'll just stack. Oh, I got that. That's how I see them BJs actually. Okay. Mm. That was the power board box, but oh well, I managed to just shove those in. Luckily, that was good. Switches. Okay. A bit better. Bit of copper in there. Copper behind, my friends. Leave no anything behind. Leave nothing behind. I meant what I said. All right, see you tomorrow. Hey, it is another day, and the observant ones of you will know all is well. <laughs> the gels are back on. Whew. We're safe in the nail department. Okay, so before I get to it today, um, I've got some mail to show you. So I got my winning sign from Dusty Vlogs, Dusty Blonde 
vlogs or vlogs. I never know how to pronounce them to be honest. I always say vlogs, but actually I know it's vlogs. It's a bit of a tongue twister. So you only need two tools, WD-40 to make things go and duct tape to make them stop. How true is that? That's why I wanted this one. It's awesome. Thank you, Dusty. Put that somewhere. And then I have some goodies. I have Scrapping Irish, which is awesome. So thank you, Irish. Um, I'm glad to finally have my sticker. So um, like a typical leprechaun, Scrapping Irish loves his gold and his gold recovery. So I know most of you know Scrapping Irish already, but obviously if you don't, get yourselves over there, have a look, check out his channel. He does a Monday night um, chat, which is awesome. And uh, some videos in the week usually related to his gold recovery stuff which is awesome so thank you Irish I'm going to put that up with my others and then so he, he gave me a selection oh actually I, this is awesome look at this holographic one I think I might put this one up in here that is so cool isn't it yeah look at that that one can go up in here and then I've got which I've had for a little while so apologies um, I kept forgetting to bring them up here. Um, we've got Ali Mac Mechanical and Braveheart Scrapper. So thank you, Ali and Tina. Um, obviously, it, Mechanical, you can see Ali does lots of bits with cars um, and some other videos like his home brewing and stuff, which is awesome. And then Braveheart Scrapper, you've got Tina um, with uh, her, some of her scrapping videos as well. Um, I'm particularly fond of the copper, the copper ones when she shows us what she's got there. So um, obviously, if you haven't got them, check those out as well. But I know most of you do. Now I'm going to do something a bit different with my stickers because, because I'm in the shed, it's a little damp up here. Some of them are peeling, and I think it's it doesn't help. Obviously, that um, it's on this wood board here. So I'm actually going to use some of the plastic that I get out of televisions. And monitors and I'm going to stick them on here and put them up um, because it's a nice smooth surface um, so I'm not going to actually stick these up just now because I want to take those ones off and place everything on here um, so I don't want to put them in the wrong place so I'm going to put them safely back I think put them in this envelope I'll pop this one in there as well to figure out where that one can go so that's my idea I'll just I'll leave them over there for now now harm's way um yeah I've got you know I keep all of these I knew they'd come in handy one day guys didn't I say yes I did say so <laughs> I'll do something along those lines with that um still got a lot more sorting out to do but anyway, shall we get on to today's jobs in hand? Okay, so I thought I'd do a little doorbell comparison, considering I got so many in the um, in the last pallet. Um, all sorts of different um, bells, however three of them look exactly the same whether they're the same make or not it could even be a set actually possibly because only one of them's got the well, I'm not sure there could be three individual ones um, this is quite an old one this is some sort of BT one that's fixed um, to your so it's not a doorbell it's it's more like a your phone is ringing um alert bell Ooh. um and this yale thing which i'm not entirely sure what it is um but i thought i'd just take that part so i'll see what's inside there and then the mini plug-in ones that you get now so that's another byron this one oh that's byron as well so obviously this is also byron <laughs> Um, that's for the return is faulty. 
so they're all i think they're all oh, what's this one this is also byron so <laughs> having said that they're nearly all byrons um but different ages you can see so let's see if we've got any nice old brassy bells in there this is new modern so i don't have too much hope for this one i can't even hear uh a bell in that one um, i'm not going to bother trying to repair this or anything um it's not not worth my time um it was obviously a return if i needed one i might but um I've, I've already got enough resale out of this palette to more than cover the cost of the palette, which is great. So I'm going to do what I love, and that's seeing inside the stuff. So, why don't we start with these old-fashioned ones where I can hear the bell. Temperature's funny today. It's, um, it's a lot warmer. We've sort of jumped by sort of seven plus degrees. Um, and, yeah trying to get the right temperature up here is oh can't actually see this might just be a splice open jobby oh there we go that was easy so there's all the fixtures and fittings there so you've got your chimes good old is it like um on a xylophone Well, we all know that I could do that all day. So, it looks like I'm going to be able to make myself a little xylophone. However, all the notes are going to be the same two notes. It's just... Okay. The same. Make some sort of wind chime with these. Heck yeah! Not quite the sort of bell I was. I don't know what I was expecting really. Actually, I've never been into a doorbell, but I suppose that makes perfect sense that it would be that kind of mechanism. Okay, just all my chimey bits, and then. Still. That might oh damn. Drop that bit. I left my um screwdriver charging inside, that was annoying. My impact driver, obviously. Um, didn't arrive yesterday I think it's coming Wednesday I think Prime is not quite Prime at the moment it's all a bit busy and a bit behind it's alright right so they are also magnetic but not not hmm I have a feeling they could be stainless because um, you know there's so many different it's only they are magnetic but there's not much of a pull I might investigate those further um, there's these ones now these are not magnetic which is great There we go. One clip there. And another there. Of 
quite brassy. Yeah, they're brass. <sighs> nice. Okay, and then the box just looks like it's lightly held in place there, if I'm honest. Oh, okay, so you've got a transformer in here. Which I've just managed to lose already. Okay, well, anyway. Um, there was this little bit of metal casing, which is steel as well. So let's just try that again, shall we? spring there as well. Ooh, and it's a copper spring. Is it? Well, copper coloured and it's non-magnetic, so stick it in there. Let's try this again without throwing this across the room. Okay. Steel housing. And then this spool here. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. I have high hopes. Looks very nice indeed. Awesome. One of those in each of those boxes. That'll do me. Now, should we compare the modern, the modern one? Let's see what's in here, shall we? And this is obviously a battery one. Also, you've got a bit of brass in with the battery. Okay, so we've got a little board, speaker. It's not too bad actually for what it is. Let's have a little closer look. So, it's not a bad little board. Right. So, little board, not bad at all. We've got a tiny gold band crystal oscillator there. And some ICs. Now, what is this? It looks like a little fuse, but it's not... Um, entirely sure but it looks nice and it looks like it's got some tiny gold contacts on the side as well so sweet and a couple of caps on the back and a switch so yeah that's a sweet little gold uh, little board for what it is and then the, spe the speaker with its magnet which I'll get um, and then out of here you've got all the the brass ends, um, they're just steel springs, but I'll just show you if I can get it under. There we go. Gotcha. So here we go. You've got the spring, which is just steel, and then you've got this brass end plate. And that will all add up as well. Let's 
because you get through the amount of little things that I do that adds up pretty quickly and easily okay. the little button again there'll be a little port for a button cell battery in here oh look at that little board and on that tiny little board you've got another gold band crystal oscillator and some ICs and some switches as well as obviously some diodes okay so that's pretty awesome as well not bad not bad at all right well while we're in the mood should we do this plug-in one Byron again oh and that's the security I think Shark was talking about these yesterday the three yeah they're annoying um, but I just got myself this little set off Amazon it's got a few different sizes I haven't actually as of yet found one that um, doesn't fit the four in the set that I got I think it was wasn't much money either so it's definitely been beneficial because you come across them occasionally and they're a pain in the butt Okay, well, this is a much lower end one. Um, so this we're plugging directly into the mains. You have a button on the outside, obviously. It comes through to this. This is the type of dog I have in my house. Um, there are some nice brassy bits on the end here that I will get. And obviously the plug itself. is nice only two though that plastic chunky junk okay so on the back of that board you've got some ICs diodes teeny resistors a uh, bigger bigger resistor there one two three four band crystal so not much but switches and then of course the speaker as well so that's that one short and sweet and then this is a battery version of the same thing um it's been all sort of taped shut oh hello that's a nice spring nice coppery spring I should be taking that. And obviously another little board with some more little bits. So this one's got a COB on it. COB, for those of you who don't know, stands for chip on board. And it's just where they print the IC into the circuit board. And then they just stick the like epoxy resin over the top. Um, it's, it's a cheap way of doing it, basically. A hmm, couple of crystals there, though. So, again, I'll get the bits out with the battery and the speaker. So, this is actually a little gold flash board as well, so that's um, surprising. Um, ICs, that's about it. But on this side, a couple of crystals. And uh, now that says oscillator, so that is some sort of hmm, interesting oscillator there. Um, and then these caps, so yeah, not bad at all for a little tiny board. Nice, these goodies are adding up in those doorbells. Okay, so. This one we've pretty much seen, so I might as well just... This is light as a feather, this thing. This is pretty much just the bell unit. Speaker unit, sorry. I really thought that would come off there a little bit easier. <sighs> okay, so... Speaker. Got this little bit of... This is where you actually um, 
wire in directly. Um, so these will be brass in here. Well, they normally are. I'm suspecting there's no reason they wouldn't be. And then obviously you've got your speaker, but the board is going inside here, so might have another bit of a better look here. Uh, from what I can see, it's just basically got a couple of big beefy ICs on it. And that's about it. Resistor. Uh, more resistors. Yeah. So, nothing to write home about. Okay, that's that one. Let's do this um, Yale thing next. So it's got uh, an RJ45 or an Ethernet port there. And a mains plug. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm assuming the screws will be under on these feet. Yeah. Um, and the rest of what I'm going to do up here today is just pottering. So I'll probably just do that off camera. And I've got a fair bit of footage yesterday. I don't want to bore you too much with the mundane stuff <laughs> you know i appreciate you giving me your time as it is okay so we've got a rechargeable battery pack here standard uh, that's the speaker bell that i can see what looks like brass in that one So we'll get into there. And then the little board. Not a bad little board. I can see some gold band crystal oscillators already. It's very nice. Little tiny transformer. Two little daughter boards on here. Each has uh, gold bands on it. There's loads of gold band crystal oscillators on this board actually, which is awesome. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, four gold band crystal oscillators on here. I thought that was at first, but it isn't. Um, tiny tanties, got some ICs. Um, copper, some brass on the port here and gold fingers inside. Switch. Cute little daughter mounted boards there. Um, and then I think I said the tanty on there. Two more nice little chips with the gold. Got some gold edging. So these two are probably gold flash, these little ones. Then on the other side You've got some nice MLCCs here. Um, oh, look at these weird resistors here. <laughs> and then diodes. And then more chips. So that's a very nice little board for what it is. Hmm. Impressive. Very nice indeed. And then that's all just plastic. And so then we come to last but not least, the BT bell. Now, hopefully these have got old fashioned brass ring bells in them. From the shape, it looks like they may well do. Now they're screwed, bolted in from the other side so this is the only way oh look at this i like <gasps> yeah and ooh ah okay oh i love this
Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. I was hoping for some, and I got some. So, this one's just steel, but this is a beautiful brass one. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. And then a transformer as well. Okay, it's got that transformer there. I can already tell that's copper without even undoing it. But I will undo it just to show you. Okay. I'm hoping these just don't spin because there's a bolt on the underside. No, it's undoing. Yay! So what I might do is, look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Very nice. That is, oh, I love it. I do. You want to see? No, it's just steel. Uh, and this one I might uh, incorporate into the wind chime as it's just steel. Come on, come on. So I finished laying my patio, not my patio, my garden path stepping stones all the way up here this morning. So I did half of it and then the snow came. Um, I've just placed them for now and then they can, uh, the grass will dry underneath and it'll be easier for me to then dig them in. That's nice. Beautiful. So yeah, I'm really taken with that. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, so there you got to see what we got inside some old doorbells. Um, I mean, you saw how many I had in that one pallet, so you can come across them easily enough. Oh yeah, let's go have a look at this, wasn't I? Oh, well, actually, it's going to crack it out for me. Woohoo! Yeah. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that was harder than it needed to be, huh? Okay, okay. Shoot! We got there. And that is. Brass. Weird, quite malleable. Brass. All right. So, there we have it. That's what's inside a load of doorbells. Okay, well, my lovely people, I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks for joining me for another scrap chat. Um, and I appreciate it whenever you're watching, whether it's uh, during the premiere or after. I think you're all awesome. And I will see you in the week. And if not, I'll see you at the next one. So take care. Love yous. Bye.